all right welcome back for this uh, shorter update video I don't have anything specific um, planned other than to show Dragon OS Pi 64 running on a Pi 5 and before I jump into showing it running uh, I had some questions on whether or not this would work and so you know after looking at the recent Pi 5 release and seeing that Ubuntu 20 um, <clears throat> excuse me 23 dot 10 added support and then reading through some forms uh, I don't know the official word yet but uh, I get the impression that there's really not uh, uh, work going towards officially uh, which I find surprising uh, towards getting 22.04 uh, Ubuntu compatible with the Pi 5 and probably the focus more is on when 24 dot uh, what is it 24.04 comes out uh, but I did not feel like making a whole new Dragon OS Pi 64 build for 23.10 when it's not a long-term uh, release and so really it didn't take me very long uh, surprisingly to add support to 22.04 so hopefully you know maybe this like officially comes after this uh, and really all I did was took a look at the the kernel that was in 23.10 and a few other packages and uh, you can see that I am running a Pi 5 here with the Dragon OS uh, image that I've only made uh, not, not a whole lot of uh, modifications to um, 22.04 with a 6.5 kernel and this image will still work on the uh, Pi 4 probably the Pi 3 uh, I've tested at least on the Pi 4 and uh, surprisingly even in 23.10 the official Ubuntu release at least for me uh, LXQT anything other than the default uh, desktop environment uh, would not work and I've kind of ran that down and figured out what's going on there and have it working in 22.04 as you can see here right now we're in an Xorg an environment not Wayland and the LXQT uh, desktop environment is running now there may be some other things uh, that I need to tweak uh, I've been told that the uh, fan the which I'm waiting on the active cooler fan for the Pi 5 just runs at full speed I gotta see you know software wise what's what's in there to control uh, the uh, fan so if anyone knows that uh, just you know let me know in the uh, comments below that would be nice and uh, so really let's just take a quick look I actually have a hacker F1 plugged in here that's inside a porta pack H2 uh, provided by a uh, hackers warehouse and that is in uh, hacker F mode and so uh, let's see so SDR plus plus and what I'm gonna do is um, from the time I you know put this video out to when I uh, upload an image to uh, SourceForge uh, you know officially I can, hang on a second here I gotta put this in hacker F mode yep hacker F mode uh, I want to update some of these packages that I haven't uh, updated in Dragon OS Pi 64 in a while so this is 20 megahertz wide hacker F um, I get you know I bought this same if I recall uh, roughly let's see H top I'd have to really side by side uh, compare uh, looks like uh, actually I, I did check a little while ago on a Pi 4 and I had definitely all cores at, at like a hundred percent usage um, and that was without VNC uh, connection I should point that out too I am VNC connected to the Pi so I looks like you know VNC's um, servers you know using some uh, CPU there obviously too so I still have less um, usage than the what it appears like than the Pi 4 but it, it, yeah and it, yeah without and the Pi 4 wasn't I was not VNC connected to it so and it was like maxing out <laughs> So anyways, you can see SDR++ works. Pretty much everything that I have tried uh, thus far, uh, Sig Digger works. Although I do have to look at uh, the FFTW, I think it is. Um, you may find that when you start Sig Digger and you change drastically the sample rate, I don't know if it's the sample rate or what, but you may be waiting a long time for it to open up. 
and uh, I'll, I'll figure out what's going on there or how to make that uh, faster with that FFTW I think it is generation uh, sat dump you know basically anything I've uh, thrown at it uh, sat dump UI you know you do get a FFT uh, you know in waterfall displaying uh, on the Pi 5 with uh, let's see recorder hacker F uh, yep 2020 20, 20, you know there you go you've got that working uh, let me think we could try something maybe with a, a, a and let's see SDR angel maybe do some uh, additional digital signal processing do so cut out a section there uh, let's see so if we do 90 I don't know if this is actually showing a lot of like bro actually uh, I know what I should do let's see so I know what I want to see uh, let's see 10 90. a little bit more actually that's not gonna work because I do not have a let's see I know what we can do 5.7. Give me, give me just a second. I know what we can do. Forgot I have a 2.4 gigahertz antenna on there. So let's take a look at processing some analog video. Probably be just looking at my ceiling. Let's see. So 5.7. Eight. Let's try. Ooh, there we go. memory real quick here how about we just we'll just look at the hacker F here maybe There we go. Looking at the border pack. I could get that cleaner, but uh, I don't feel like showing everything uh, in my little work area here. So there you go. What do we got? Uh, yeah, okay. So you can see the usage there, but uh, still going pretty good. All right. Let's stop that before I burn my fingers off holding this. Uh, little FPV camera <clears throat> and we'll close this out oh okay so you can see 
some messages about uh, dropping <laughs> samples but uh, anyways works uh, works pretty well and that's pretty much all I have I just I'll get the image uploaded and try it out with the uh, Pi 5 all right thanks